This is the Men of High Value channel. My name is Joseph Darling. Last video I spoke about setting yourself up financially first before you get established with having a family, long-term relationships, and then eventually having kids. I'm now in Vancouver being with my kids and my wife, and we are now, we've decided that, you know, after a week of being here, we're gonna leave again. And I'm actually bringing them this time to Eurasia. Where is that? It's between Europe and Asia, a place called Tbilisi, Georgia. And I've ordered the tickets. We literally spend about $4,000 to US dollars to travel there. And we're gonna go there now, actually on uh, Tuesday. And um, it's gonna be fantastic. Now, why am I doing that? Why are we going to Georgia? Like, who goes to Georgia and spends $4,000 to go there? Like, literally, it would be half price to go to anywhere else, <laughs> really, almost. Okay, so why, why do we do that? Like I mentioned earlier, the video that I made last video, la, the last video I made, go check that video out because it talks about my passion about setting yourself up financially before you involve women in your life and before you involve kids in your life you want to make sure you do that. I did not do that, okay? I, I did not set myself up financially. I have been st striving and struggling, having a wife and having three kids and setting my business up and setting everything up, okay? There's a, a quote in uh, chapter 11 of, of uh, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, where he talks about semen retention, by the way. He talks about sexual energy, but he also mentions why uh, men before the age of 40 seldom succeeds okay why is it that after they turn 40 like massively now there's like huge uh you know monetary means coming down like out of nowhere it's like and it's coming faster than you can even believe why is that the reason why is because during that time when napoleon hill was writing that book he's he was speaking to guys and and he was just doing research, seeing that there was just not many guys who were succeeding between the ages of 20 and 40. After 40, man, everything exploded and it's just like poof, lots of money. The reason why is because during that time when he wrote that book, what did guys in their early 20s do? They didn't have sex. What they did is, or they, they didn't have casual sex the way that guys are doing it these days. What they did was they got married at an early age. Like, if you were 25 and not married during that time Napoleon Hill wrote that book, something was seriously wrong with you. And if you were, like, more than 30 years old, you were a menace to society, <laughs> okay? And what did those guys do after they got married? Yeah, well, guess what? There wasn't much birth control going on, and if there was, it wasn't really, uh, it was frowned upon. Okay, which means that they actually tried to have kids or kids just naturally came and they ended up having a bunch of kids and those guys basically couldn't succeed in business because of distractions, because of having a wife and kids that were basically, you can't blame them, right? Because you were the ones who put yourself in that situation, but it is what it is. It, distractions drag you down. The only thing that makes you succeed financially and in business is something that is called flow. And if you start looking through peak performance strategies and peak performance in general, learning about flow that comes from habits and that comes from not being distracted will make things happen for you. And I'm doing this, I'm explaining this in, in, in the sense of being able to accomplish your purposes without neglecting your kids as well. Because personally, in my opinion, if you put your kids in public school, or even private school for that matter, and both of you are working, and then you come home and you try to take care of the kids at the end of the night when both of you are tired, you're neglecting your kids. I'm just putting it bluntly, you're neglecting your kids if you're not... Um, if, you're, if you're basically giving your kids over to someone else all day and and basically not being able to take care of them at the end of the evening because you're both tired you're neglecting them and they're the family is going to be dysfunctional the kids are going to have issues and you're going to have issues with the kids because they're having issues you're going to blame them but really who was it that you should have been blaming it was yourself because you neglected your kids from not having set up your financial situation beforehand 
you also neglected your wife for 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 putting her in a situation where she feels she has to work in order for you to for 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 there to be enough money in the family and in the household that also is your neglect okay so i'm i'm putting this all out there for a reason like i'm i'm all about financials these days and i'll explain to you why you have no understanding of how expensive it is to have women in your life and to have kids in your life some guys say that women can be assets yeah maybe you know but at the same time um the more of an asset she is in the short term short term the more of a liability she's going to be in the long term what do i mean by that if you allow her it's not about allowing her but if you basically i want my wife to work if that's what you're saying inside your head and she's the one like i love working and i'm gonna go out there and make tons of money you're basically putting her in a situation where she is becoming rejected on a daily basis. This is how business works. It's rejection. Okay? And if there's one thing that makes women more masculine than anything else, it's rejection. So if you're going to put your, your, your future wife or your wife in the situation where she's rejected continuously and consistently, that's going to make her masculine. If she's becoming masculine, guess what? It's going to create a burden and a distraction for you long term because she's become masculine now and you guys have kind of veered from each other <laughs> or, or you've basically allowed yourself to remain feminine because she's masculine. It, it, it's like this whole thing, man. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, then go through my Girls of High Value channel. I have two channels, one, <laughs> two. I have two channels, one for the men, one for the women. And my whole concept really is to establish families, to establish organizations, small cells and entities of families that make society work in the large scale and in, in, in the long run. That's what I'm all about. That's why I'm making these channels for you. you guys think I'm talking about seed retention and semen retention and that's all I'm talking about. No, no. I'm talking about this huge, massive concept that you guys have only gotten the scratch of the scratch of the scratch. So yeah women and kids are expensive and just to give you an, an an example uh booking a ticket for me to to tbilisi would have been about a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars and because i have to book for five people and it requires five seats guess what it's going to cost five times more and in terms of a taxi, if we're going to take taxis, then we have to have a maxi taxi instead of a regular taxi because there's three kids, right? And food wise, I mean, if it was just me, like you guys have no idea how much money I, uh, uh, I saved from basically putting my wife in, in the house of her father where her father was basically providing for her. And I was sending over a little bit of money every month. But I basically wasn't spending any money on me. We didn't need to have a house in Norway. We didn't need to have food in Norway. It was like, man, I saved so much money. And what I'm telling you guys is that you, you guys can actually, if you choose to live celibately just for a few years, a short, short, short time frame of one year, two years, three years, whatever it takes for you to do that, do it, okay? It's worth it. It's worth it to live celibately using that sexual energy and massively focus on financial means instead of massively focus on getting girls, which is a massive distraction and a waste of time. Like people might say, yeah, but you're missing out on the best days of your life. No, no, you can be 30 and still have the best days of your life with girls that are way younger, <laughs> okay? That are like 20, 22, all those girls will remain there. They're still there. You, you're not missing out on anything, FOMO is very close to homo, okay? Fear of missing out. Don't have that. You're not missing out on anything. What you're missing out on, what you should have FOMO about, is your financial standpoint, your financial fundamentals, your fin financial foundation for your massive future. The cool thing about passive income is once you actually establish passive income, once you get like $10,000 in passive income every single month, or $20,000 or $100,000 in passive income. Guess what? It's passive. 
which means that it's going to continue for as long as you live, as long as you keep, you know, just pushing the ball a little bit more down the road. You can just keep pushing the ball because you know what you're doing. Most of the time, people are getting involved with girls without knowing what they're doing. And they're getting involved with girls, and they're getting involved with, with money, like financials and business, and they're getting involved with a lot of bunch of other crap that's make, making them distracted from the one simple task at hand, which is to learn business. Learn to be a man. And becoming a man is simply understanding how to provide and how to protect. You're not ready to be with women yet if you don't know how to provide and to protect. And let me give you an example of me trying to provide for my wife and kids right now. Going from Vancouver, which is freaking expensive, it's almost just as expensive as Norway, I'm going to Tbilisi in Georgia, which is one of the most capitalistic countries in the world right now. The taxes are really cheap. It's easy to get residency as of now. And, uh, and I'm just going to live there. But the reason why we're going there, the reason why we're actually moving to Georgia, Tbilisi in general, is because of cheap labor. It's one of the cheapest countries in the world. It's like bottom, I don't know, bottom... 10 on the numbio.com list of cost of living and of the countries that are on that on that website we can hire someone full-time working for us in Tbilisi that I could never manage to do on my current passive income in Norway okay this is just wouldn't be possible and we've lived there and wasted time 10 years living in an expensive country when we could have lived in this in the country that had good internet being digital nomads and all and and established our foundation our financial foundation while we get out those you know the things that are basically stopping us from making things happen in our lives my wife wants to spend time with her kids we're homeschooling them and and um and we want to make sure that they're happy at all times and if we're just neglecting them because we need to focus on other things we're gonna regret it for the rest of our lives. They only have one childhood and I want them to have a blast being children. And if you're involving yourself in women too early and you're having kids too early, you're messing up their childhood by doing that. And that's why I'm basically saying postpone women as much as possible and you can set yourself up in an amazing way if you just simply apply the principles that are out there. You have been put in an unprecedented time of being able to uh, to have tons of opportunities and make them make things happen okay this is the men of high value channel i'll speak to you again tomorrow hey guys i just want to share at the end here that i'm ready to work with those that are willing to work with me i have a special coaching program where i coach people for four sessions in one month and I charge them $300 a month for that. But what I'm willing to do right now is to take in 15 guys that work together with me with the same coaching program where I help them to establish their business or massively grow the business that they have. And I'm willing to give you a special August offer right now to celebrate that I'm going back to America to see my wife and kids again. You're gonna get it for a hundred flippin' dollars. That's an insane offer. So if you want to be one of those guys, hit me up on joseph at highvalue.no. I'm ready to go if you are.